Mm -hmm. um, okay, well, so we are starting presentation of master program innovation and technology management. Uh, it is a very interesting program uh, managed by two department and the uh, bridge to science uh, management and uh, IT. So far we manage it together and in this program you may find uh, courses from both management and IT. Uh, just a few words about uh, our environment. We are situated at Tartu, Tartu University, and we are at Delta Building, which is very new, very modern building, cozy. It's situated near the river, so in summer times you may sit near, near the river and uh, make your home tasks, and uh, it is cafe and many co-working spaces so far. Uh, it's very cozy and friendly environment where uh, we are. Okay, and uh, the most important information about innovation and technology management program, uh, after graduation, you will get Master of Art and Social Science and uh, uh, 15 places available with tuition waivers. The duration is standard, kind of two years, 120 credits, and uh, it is at Tartu, Estonia. Um, um, here you may see what you will be able to do after the program. And uh, you have uh, many uh, interesting courses and many uh, very topical and very in-demand skills which we are going to provide you with. So I think that uh, data and uh, all that connected with data analysis, uh, collection, interpretation. And at the same time, but you're going to be not just a, a person who can work with data, but you can make data-driven decision and you can uh, manage any process based on your data analysis. And we are moving to the benefits of uh, the program. Uh, as I have already told you, it's a uh, bridge business and IT. Uh, so far, uh, you will be able to work in any kind of business, small, large, size, whatever. And uh, um, you may also be able to uh, work in high growth companies. So we targeted to... Uh, to provide you with skills which help you to become leader in market, to become innovative leader in different industries. We are having Erasmus exchange opportunities, so you always have ability to spend one semester abroad. It can be Italy, Germany, Finland, uh, any country, uh, because our uh, university uh, has agreement with many countries and with many foreign uh, universities. Uh, we are having double degree program. Uh, I'm going to talk about it uh, later. It's very beneficial and it's unique opportunity. We just conclude the agreement about double degree program. So far, you will be the first uh, students who will have such a uh, bright opportunity. And uh, what else? We have a lot of international events and conferences, so you may spend time in different kind of events, both scientific and practical. We have Startup Day, we have days devoted to different topics to make networking, a very comfortable environment. Uh, and we are uh, practice oriented, so we supply students with both theoretical and practical knowledge. Uh, that is why uh, our curriculum include a lot of guest lectures, company visits, and we are trying to connect you closely with industry. Uh, so far, I may say that mostly students are able to find their job 
even during the master studies. So it's very good result for me and I am happy with that. So far we are trying, of course, you are getting a university degree, but at the same time, we are trying to prepare you to the market and we're trying to be very up to date. We're trying to be very uh, practical. As that is why we involve practitioners a lot in our educational process. For example, master thesis uh, are supervised in some cases by both professors from university and professor from uh, in, no, not professor, but expert from industry. For example, we had such experience and having now such experience with SEP Bank, uh, where SEP uh, Bank, uh, it's one of the um, maybe biggest bank uh, in Estonia, uh, it uh, offer topics for um, our students. It's very practical topic which is needed for the bank and students have ability to work under this very practical topic and get advices both from sides of university and from sides of bank. In the end, uh, students uh, have very practical uh, work. And a few words about career prospects. Uh, as I told you, uh, mostly uh, students have no any problems with finding job. And here just a few examples, uh, which jobs uh, our alumni uh, find for them. It's different banks, Sweet Bank, SEP Bank, Nordea, uh, company including startups and unicorns, uh, unicorns such as Bolt, TransferWise, uh, big companies, for example, Finnair, few uh, alumni of uh, our program are working there. And of course, you are able to develop your academic career to earn a PhD study at University of Tartu and, or at any other of university and um, start your university career to become a professor. A uh, few words about ITM program structure. So we have uh, five modules. The first is core module, then digital business analysis, innovation management, optional courses, and master thesis. Overall, we have such five modules, which uh, the first is kind of introduction, second, more about analytics and different analytical tools, uh, innovation management is more about how to manage, how to build strategy, how to face different challenges of the market. Optional courses, it's up to you. Maybe you would like to study, I don't know, any language or culture or whatever. Or maybe you would like to um, master your skills in some programming, whatever, and master thesis. It's a very important part. Uh, and few words about double degree program. It's a very new project. Uh, we just uh, uh, launched this project this year. What does it mean, this double degree? Uh, it means that uh, you are studying only two, year, two years, but after graduation, you are getting two diplomas from Tartu University and from our partner university, Ghent University. So far, it's uh, very good to uh, get two diplomas for only two years. But moreover, you are spending one year at Tartu and one year at Ghent University. So it means that for these two years, you can get experience very international from two universities. You may spend time at both universities, you may get expertise, you may get courses from both universities. So I really think it's very cool and uh, very beneficial to enter uh, this double uh, degree program. So our program, you get a Master of Arts in Innovation and Technology Management. And with Gantt, you will get Diploma Master of Science in Business Engineering. So our partner program, business engineering at Gantt University. 
uh, regarding benefits of this double degree program, of course, it's a uh, university with high ranking. Ghent is very reputable and it's really uh, cool to live in Ghent and to visit it and to get this diploma. The second, it's in internationalization. I should say that we are very international at Tarpu University. But now you can be both at two universities and you uh, get very wide cultural experience, new students, new teachers, two diplomas after graduation, and of course, opportunity to spend one year abroad. Overall, I advise you to uh, take this opportunity. Uh, so uh, continue our discussion about uh, this double degree program, you may see uh, that uh, in this business engineering at Ghent, uh, they have two tracks, which you may choose data analytics, finance, or operation management inside this business engineering. So you have many options and you may uh, choose whatever you want. And uh, maybe one more thing about Ghent University and about business engineering that uh, this university and faculty has international education. It's very important when you uh, graduated from university with such uh, cool accreditation and very high level of students and alumni satisfaction. Okay, well, so I think uh, I was talking enough about this double degree program. I just want to underline that it's very bright opportunity and uh, that is why I try to promote it as much as I can. And now let's go back to the courses of uh, ITM program. You may see courses of basic module. It's innovation policy, econometrical analysis, decision-making, uh, data minding, uh, visualization and communication, introduction to programming and practical training. So it's the first uh, block, first model, which allows you to uh, get kind of introduction in different areas of your study. The second digital business analysis, very interesting, especially for those who are interested in this analytical tools approach. Uh, and you may see five courses here. I should say that this year we implement new edition of business analy uh, an uh, analysis course. Uh, starting from this year, it's developed by uh, our alumni, two of them. So they have graduated ITM programs, they have rich experience of working in industry, so they know business analysis quite well and they know how to apply it. This course is based on uh, real life situation, real life cases. So we start with business case and then uh, they will tell you how to solve this business case with the help of analytical tools. So I think this course will be very uh, very interesting, as well as all others, business data, analytics, business process management, and et cetera. Uh, speciality module two, innovation management. It's more managerial course. Um, it's about, you may see, um, about innovation management itself, about business growth strategy. And very interesting course here, customer relationship management. You know, it's really cool to understand how to build your relationship with customer, how to understand their behavior, how to analyze their behavior, and how to build or shape your strategy to meet requirements of customers so far. I think this module very valuable and useful for you. And then you have master thesis module, which consists of master thesis and master seminar. It means that, that during this seminar, we are helping you to be ready for your final defense. We are teaching you how to uh, develop your master thesis. So it's um, uh, interesting to, uh, to participate. And optional courses, so you have freedom to, to choose whatever you want. So you may uh, choose not only courses of Tartu University, but any other university in Estonia or abroad. It can be connected with our ITM uh, 
a speciality, but it can be absolutely whatever you want. So I'm thinking that uh, in terms of presentations, that's it from my side. Uh, and I will be happy to answer your questions, maybe just short conclusion, just to summarize uh, that it is a program for those who would like to work both in business and in IT and in banks in to become innovative leader and uh, benefits of the program it's double degree diploma combination of business and IT um, very unique set of courses um, we may offer you international environment here Erasmus uh, program this uh, double degree diploma program um, so maybe uh, that's it from my side and I will be happy to answer your questions. Mm. Okay. Yes, I can see the question. Uh, I just read it. Hello, around how many students apply every year for this program and how many are admitted? Uh, we usually admit about 40 students and the application, it can be around uh, maybe uh, 200, 140, something like that. And maybe a few words about the admission procedure. So mostly uh, except of different documents, uh, bachelor degree, you need to submit your motivation letter. It's very short. You should just describe why this program and what is your future topic for master thesis. And uh, you should include in motivation letter link for your video uh, kind of video CV. So you need to shoot two, three minutes video. The quality is not important. So you can use your phone, but important to introduce yourself and to show what uh, you're going to do. Okay, questions. Hi, will the tuition fee be different for the double degree? And will there be the same number of tuition waivers? For double degree will be the same tuition fee. And very important here, uh, you understand that uh, Tartu University and Kent University uh, get uh, having a different tuition fee. But if you are entering Tartu University, you pay here. So you always pay at home. It, and it's really very cool. Uh, what are the key focus area of specialization with the Master of Innovation and Technology Management program? I would say that business analysis, business product analysis, the main focus. So we, of course, we try to prepare uh, leaders with different skills. They can become entrepreneurs. They can work in different spheres. But mostly it is about analytical skills. And it is about uh, working as leader on, let's say, high position at in innovative company we have many startups not even let's say they now they are kind of unicorns and our alumni are working in these unicorns they get really high salaries so i think it is our focus is it possible to work with specific faculty member in regards to my research topic absolutely of course it's exactly what we're usually doing um Interesting thing that at Innovation Technology Management, uh, you're absolutely free to choose your topic. I mean, it shouldn't be closely connected with Innovation Technology. It can be about cultural management. It can be about analytics. It can be whatever, about entrepreneurship management, about uh, labor markets. So, and definitely... You can work with specific faculty member, with professor. It's absolutely yes. Can you provide examples of recent project or research topic undertaken by students in the program? Uh, yes. Uh, very wide range. Uh, about uh, one student developed um, 
Argumented Reality for Museum. Another was about labor market. Another was about entrepreneurship. Uh, and it was about um, about financing. Uh, as well, we had uh, master thesis about uh, Lego, how to collect Lego and how to make investment in Lego. So we had very wide range of different, different kind of topics. Aside from the modules available, I can pick from other courses available in the university to make up three credits. Mm -hmm. I have identified several courses I'm interested in taking, but the total exceeds three credits and I'm honestly not satisfied with just picking one of these. So my question is about how much flexibility in the choosing elective. Can I drop a course from the core innovation man? Mm -hmm. So uh, you cannot drop a course from the core module because it's kind of obligatory courses. But in, if you want to take some additional courses, we can do that. We can provide it even more for three credits. So we can discuss it if you, if you think that three credits of optional courses are not enough. No, it's doable. How many times a week do we nominally have to be physically present on campus? What is the average class size? The average class size is around 40 uh, students usually. And how many times? I think maybe two times a week. Uh, as I mentioned, almost all our students are working and we understand it. Now we are okay with that. So far, usually you always can negotiate somehow with professor, even if you are occupied on your work and you can combine your work and study. How will uh, uh -huh. how will admission to the double degree work? Do I have to apply to Ghent University? No, you shouldn't apply for Ghent University. You should apply to uh, Innovation and Technology Management Tartu University and make kind of notes that it is for double degree. We will announce additionally. Uh, the, the idea of it is that you apply and you firstly enrolled at Tartu University. And, but at the same time, you, have a, you, you will get two diplomas. So you do not need to apply to Ghent. Okay, I can see only these questions. Do we have more? Uh, uh, so Andres helps a lot and you may find many uh, useful links. I hope you can see them, admission requirements and some recommendation to watch. You may see uh, our promotional materials and it helps you to understand our city, our university, because Tartu is very cozy, small city, very old, with many cafes, many, many clubs. And so, um, okay. Okay. Ah, mm -hmm. Is it possible to combine work with studies in this program? Yes, yes, definitely. Yes, you can do that. Absolutely. The only thing is that you need to negotiate with professor. Just let him know that you are working and how you can maybe compensate something. Just it's a question of negotiation, but it's absolutely normal practice. And I should say that Tartu University and innovation technology is very reputable university and program in Estonia and company waiting for our alumni. So they know that if they need young uh, specialists, they may ask from us. And it's very cool because it's not complicated to find a job after the graduation. And maybe uh, one more important thing for international students that uh, in Estonia, a lot of international companies, and you may start working in English. So it's it's very it's it's very good because we are very international. Mm -hmm. 
more questions. Okay, well, if you have no any, ah, I can see one more question is, ah, even two, uh, chat, chat, chat. Okay, mm -hmm. mm, no, it's old question. <laughs> uh, you may help me, ah, this, thank you very much. Uh, okay, hi, I'm from Bangladesh. I want to do master in business in your university. I am from commerce background. Is it possible? I have IELTS, six scores, and I have already taken master degree for my country, but I need a foreign degree. Yes, it's possible. Uh, for the admission, uh, strictly speaking, we uh, welcome uh, students with kind of engineering background, but if you are a good student in business and management, we can we, we, we can take you as well. So it's it's absolutely okay. Uh, does early application factor into the admission decision or do all applications before the deadline get the same treatment? I, I may say that the whole uh, application has kind of the same treatment. And um, uh, of course, I advise you do not send your application in the very last day because it's always can be something bad with that. But usually uh, we estimate, estimate all. My advice is regarding the admission, think about your master thesis topic. It's very important and you need to write about it just a few phrases, but still it can be very uh, useful. Uh, it can be very uh, well developed. And uh, regarding your video CV, think what you're going to talk about yourself, what you're going to put in uh, in this uh, in your speech because it's only two, three minutes, but for these two, three minutes, admission committee should completely understand who you are, why you're going to apply to the program, what is your career prospects, whatever. If I have a bachelor in social science in economics, can I still apply? Yes, of course. If you have your uh, economics background, you absolutely can apply, no problem at all. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, okay. Um, I have bachelor in uh, chemical engineer. Yes, yes, engineering background absolutely acceptable. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely good. Mm -hmm. So while we're waiting for uh other questions i can maybe kind of um, summarize again uh that uh we are both it management analytics we have double degree we have semester abroad and very international environment uh we try to prepare you for real life that is why we have a lot of uh, courses based on a uh, real life situation and we involve a lot of guest lectures, company visits and uh, such kind of things. Uh, as well, um, uh, we have practical training and it helps you to find a job a lot, but usually let me repeat that our you know, students do not have any problem with uh, employment. Um, maybe that's it from my side. Do you have any other questions? Uh, maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay, but anyway, uh, on uh, the site of program, you may find my email and you may 
send me any question. I will be very happy to help. Um, is working experience a criteria for admission? One of. Uh, you know, uh, criteria is motivation letter, and in motivation letter, you should put many, many information about you, your kind of competitive advantage. And if you have rich working experience, of course, uh, it will be kind of plus for the admission process. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, so I think maybe we can stop here. Please find my uh, email and please feel absolutely free to send me your questions about program, about motivation letter, how to prepare better. And uh, maybe as a very as the very last thing, I should say that Tartu University is very friendly university. I like it because we have very friendly uh, atmosphere, very good professor, and uh, it's it's really very comfortable uh, psychologically to be here. Andres, are we? Yes. Okay. So. <laughs> Thank you very much. And uh, I'm waiting for your emails. Please feel free to send it to me. Okay, bye.